This fight comes five months after John Conte has won the vacant WBC light heavyweight title from Jorge Ahumada. Reporters noted that it had become customary for British world champions to lose their titles in the first time out, but Conte's fans weren't worried. Uh, he's 23 years old, he parties hard, but he trains hard, and he's negotiating for a super fight with middleweight champion Carlos Monzon. Uh, meanwhile, Lonnie Bennett is the number one ranked light heavyweight contender. As a teen, he was a gang leader in Chicago before moving to Los Angeles, where he is now trained by Eddie Futch. Uh, he's nicknamed the Music Man because he carries a boombox wherever he goes, and he works as a youth counselor in Los Angeles. Now, this bout does end with an anticlimax. Uh, both Bennett and trainer Eddie Futch complained that the cut was caused by headbutt. The fans say it as academic, as Conte looked to have had too much power for Bennett, and it was only a matter of time before he finished him. Could be just about the most dangerous moment Conti's ever faced in his life because this man, Lonnie Bennett, billed as the North American light heavyweight champion, certainly has danger in those fists. Magic man on the right leg of his trunks. Magic man because it said he makes opponents disappear. They either don't want to know about him, or if they get in the ring with him, they find themselves quickly on the floor. He has a destructive record, Bennett, and he's certainly going to test Conti. Conti looking trim, slim, and full of confidence. Cool and looking not in the slightest perturbed. Conti 12, Stone 6, and Bennett 12, 4 and a half. Bennett, the American, has got uh, about two inches in height advantage. He's six foot two. Speed of punch there from Bennett. Quick jab, like a snake's tongue darting out. Bennett got height and reach advantage, but he's older. 28. Conti is 23. So Conti, by my card now, has fallen behind on the first two rounds. authority to that left hand of Bennett's. Conte doesn't seem to uh, be able to cope with it yet. He's having to take it. Whether he wants to take it is another matter. left jab of Bennett's has dominated these opening three rounds there's no question of that and every time it lands it makes it that much harder for Conte to come back the first attack right on the closing bell so that was the first real opening up and he gets a pat from George Francis his manager first time he tried to open up and in fact, he's caused trouble because in Bennett's corner, they're working on the left eye. That's the eye that opened up in training. It's the one that Tom Bethea injured two and a half years ago. And Eddie Futch is having to work on it now. The first sign of trouble for Bennett. Next result, round four. So now 10,000 people at Wembley have seen the first big attack from Conte. And they're looking for more. beginning to find him with lefts and rights now. Conti has stepped up his own pace and immediately it's proved successful. But it's still reaching him with the left. Like that. The country is from Bennett. And it smiles in the clinch. Conte moving back, 
And that one came over. Which is just his way. Still that long left arm finding its way into the face of the champion, Conte. And carrying, I think, quite a bit of weight. Conte beginning to warm up and trying to find a rhythm to put the punches together. Then it beginning to breathe a little harder. This is being fought at a fast pace. But a lot of punches being exchanged. Stamina is going to play its part in this. Still Conte being out jabbed. It's staggered in with a left hook. Great attack by Conte, and Bennett most definitely wobbled under a left hook. That's a really good attack there by Conte. The authority of a champion about that. He needed something like that, and just as he did in the third, he left it to near the end of the round, and then he put it together. And he stamped his authority onto the fight like this. The first left hook wobbled. Bennett, look at him going back, and his legs went for a moment. And Conti wasn't slow to follow up. Like a tiger, he was on him. And right to the closing bell, he gave Bennett a lot of trouble. And that's the first round that Conti has clearly won. They're still working on Bennett's eye in the other corner. Second up, round five. So what a fight this could prove to be. So maybe the magic man, the big puncher from America, like so many big punchers, he might just be vulnerable to the big punch himself. But it's right eye, which was swollen a little before, is looking worse. So he's cut over the left and he's swollen under the right. And Bennett's boxing showing a few signs of coming apart at the seams when Conti puts pressure on. And now Bennett's left eye bleeding quite copiously. That's a bad eye and it's bleeding badly. Bennett's real trouble now. He's in really bad trouble. His face is screwed up in agony and anxiety and worry. He's got a really shocking eye. And John Conte is going to have a look at it. And Bennett doesn't want to go on with that eye. And I can't say I'm surprised. It's a shocking cut. And Eddie Futch is looking at it and shaking his head. And it's all over. And Conte has defended the World Light Heavyweight title, stopping Bennett in the fifth round. Covered in Bennett's own blood. And when he opened up, it really was all over. Because he took the man apart, he found the old injury, he opened it up, and from that moment, Bennett didn't have any further chance, and Bennett didn't want to go on either.